huge task for the Italians. They've never beaten France in the under 26 nations. Will it happen tonight? It's well taken there. And an early penalty. Up Fight. against him, Lino Julien. Loose head prop for Racing 92. Very experienced at this level himself. A World Cup winner in the summer, of course. But they do get the Best shove advantage. on. Gallerini oh, gets the penalty. Will they go under the sticks? Casilio tries to go wide. Does he get to the corner? A try for Lorenzo Casilio. You're all, I was thinking it's a penalty try. Look at the power coming on from Italy. It was the correct decision. Well, it's only the correct decision if you score a try there. I think the scrum half had got in there, the French scrum half, so the penalty try was coming. He scores a try, but look where the conversation, the conversion is from. He's right on the right, but fair dues to this lad. And you've got a nickname. They've got a nickname, come on. They call him Il Spadino, Derry. There you go, why? Through their number eight, Mael Perra. Wonderful carry from Perra, replacing Castro Ferreira there. Excellent captain, of course, and there's Penalty the new advantage. captain, Corentin Mezu, yeah, but it's the Italians who transgress this time. And it'll be interesting to see how he goes in Canada tomorrow with the Sevens. Why on earth he's not playing the Six Nations? I do not know, and then play Sevens afterwards, but... Jean Kotarmanak. <laughs> Strikes it true through the uprights. It's a bit like that one in Torquay. Anyway. Here another, they come. Another big, scrum, another big scrum. See, they're leaving the ball in, and it's another penalty. A third in the first 15 minutes. Long ball to Electri. That much strength on the on the field is in the scrum. They have to reward their forwards. Cherriello missed with his first attempt. Makes no mistake with the second. So number six has become unbound from the scrum. Awad, here's Timing's the good. width you're talking about, Dewey. It's Perra. The crowd roars their approval oh, okay, as guys. France go through the gears. He goes blind. It's Pro Boiry inside to Zamora. <laughs> Electric from France. But couldn't quite catch that pass off Muscus, the 15. This time he does it. Going out wide, they win this track. Well, well actually, Italy look yeah, like they've, they've got to sniff it and play that blind side superbly well. And it was Brugberry, Brugberry back inside. Look at this, no, no, four no. guys down the blind. Oh, yes, I only need one, this time he catches the ball, this time he gets over the whitewash. Backwards. Oh, through the legs from Belloni into the danger man, Scalabrin. Casilio into midfield. Looks back blind, they've got numbers, it's Scalabrin from five yards out. And he's got it down! Marco Scalabrin! You see, you see right, this youth okay. coming through. Again, I said about how many dominant sort of yards he makes after that first initial hit. Look at him. He takes him, put him down. That's the first time he gets the ball. Moves the ball out and then into the slightly midfield. It's good yardage every time. There's no dominant tackles coming from the France in the 20s. And then it's just basically a numbers game. And it's a power game. Scalabrin, no, unstoppable. He is the coming okay. man. He's deep playing the seniors. Get him in. Get him in. Look at this. Good finish. Go back at that blind no, side. We've seen it. France. Right. This confirmation of those front row changes. Set. Penalty for Italy. And it's that man, Sasha Mistruli, losing his feet. And Gallerini taking names at scrum time. The big Italian. Extend the lead to eight. And he's done it. A brilliant kick from the young fly half. Says referee Ian Kenny. Here's the new man, Mistruli. Zamora to Katarmanak. Out the back door, and that's Takola. With Granell on the left wing, and the debutant will score. Have a word with 12. He grabbed his legs okay. up so they were coming back for the penalty. Look at the quality out there. Look at the quality of this passing. We'll that is superb, and that is absolute well, gas there from Grinnell. It was Takalu who gave him the ball. And like you said, just when we can't, you think, oh, well, they're going to get out of this game because they're brought on a front row and they're, they're, they're struggling even more. This happens. Wow. Beyond the horizontal by number 12, so that's a yellow card. If it's gone above the horizontal and it's actually allowed to, to bring it back down. 
Awad waits. Feeds to Pera. The white wall has not been breached. New advantage three. Another penalty though. And they go wide now. Suver to Kotarmanak. Muskez. Brobori. In this game, that's how much pressure really Italy have exposed, and the ball's going out. That's a lovely, lovely, lovely line. Set! Silio to feet. The eight man Italian shove begins. Marching towards that try line. Baturi keeping the ball in. A penalty advantage. Baturi grabs the ball. That is a serious shove from the Italian scrum. Really it's good, a really thing good, of beauty, but actually, if you were a sports guy yeah. just watching this and sheer determination, <laughs> that is an incredible amount of skill. That's an incredible amount of power going forward. You thought that the French may have done a job just to hold them. All of a sudden, there was a little bit of a dribble and the dam started to break. And from the back, the control, you've got to say, Baturi, the captain, has done a, an amazing job there. It's Pelliccioli. <laughs> and they've done it, it's gone against them. They've done what they meant not to do.